Welcome to the Administering the Summer Food Service Program, USDA, Civil Rights, and the SFSP. This training presentation is hosted by the Oklahoma State Department of Education, OSDE, referred to in this training as the State Agency, SA. During the training, when directed to the web page, this will always refer to the OSDE SFSP webpage at sde.ok.gov slash sde slash summer food, unless otherwise specified. This session is a review of the USDA civil rights requirements for the Summer Food Service Program, SFSP. All sponsors of the FSSP must comply with the Federal Civil Rights Program as part of their agreement with the Oklahoma State Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs. Civil rights requirements are intended to ensure benefits of child nutrition programs are made available to all eligible participants in a non-discriminatory manner. All sponsors receiving federal monies must implement the civil rights requirements to be eligible for the program. Discrimination is defined as different treatment to people which makes a distinction of one person or a group of persons from others either intentionally, by neglect, or by actions or lack of actions based on the protected classes. The USDA non-discrimination statement contains numerous protected classes which will not apply to all programs. The six protected classes relevant to Oklahoma Child Nutrition Programs, FSSP, remains limited to race, color, national origin, sex, age, and disability. Discrimination can be easily remembered by thinking of the four Ds. Discrimination is when an individual or group of individuals is delayed receiving benefits or services that others receive, denied benefits or services that others receive, treated differently than others to their disadvantage, given disparate treatment, something which does not seem discriminatory, but has a discriminatory impact in practice. Any participant or potential participant may submit a civil rights complaint of unequal treatment, verbally or in writing. Complainants may choose to directly contact USDA with their complaints, contact Oklahoma State Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs with their complaints, or notify the sponsor of their complaints. The sponsor must forward all discrimination complaints received regarding the SFSP to the Oklahoma State Department of Education Child Nutrition Programs Office within three working days. A complaint must be filed within 180 days of the alleged discriminatory action. All sponsors must develop a written civil rights complaint procedure and implement this procedure. Sponsors may adopt Oklahoma Summer Food Service Program prototype procedure located on the webpage. If sponsors choose this option, they must put the sponsor's name at the top of the procedure and then train all staff on this procedure. The civil rights complaint procedure is as follows. A civil rights complaint is received by the sponsor, either verbally or in writing. Next, the sponsor logs the complaint in the Civil Rights Complaint Log. Additionally, the sponsor gives complainant the Civil Rights Complaint Form or the sponsor assists the complainant to complete the Civil Rights Complaint Form if needed. If the complainant returns the Civil Rights Complaint Form to the sponsor, the sponsor must forward the Civil Rights Complaint Form to the SA within three working days. Civil rights complaint forms must be readily available at all sites, including the main office if it is not a serving site. The sponsor must make every attempt to help the complainant complete the civil rights complaint form. All discrimination complaints must be documented in the civil rights complaint log. The civil rights complaint log must be dated and kept for three years plus the current year, even if no complaints have been received. At the end of the fiscal year, right across the log, no complaints received, if no complaints were received that year. 
The short version of the non-discrimination statement is shown here. Federal regulations allow use of a shorter non-discrimination statement on program material mentioning USDA or child nutrition programs if the material is too small to accommodate the full statement. For example, brochures, coupons, menus, flyers, etc. The short version must be in the same size font as the text of the document. This slide shows the long version of the non-discrimination statement. Sponsors must use the new long non-discrimination statement on all publications that are large enough to accommodate it. The long statement must be in the same size font as the text of the document. The USDA non-discrimination long statement contains numerous protected classes, which will not apply to all programs. The six protected classes relevant to child nutrition programs remains limited to race, color, national origin, sex, age, and disability. The non-discrimination statement must be included on program materials such as enrollment forms, menus, employee handbook, newsletters, brochures, parent or student handbooks, print or broadcast ads, flyers, and websites. All sponsors are responsible for ensuring program access for those with limited English proficiency. LEP. LEP is defined as individuals who have limited ability to read, speak, write, or understand English. Reasonable steps must be taken to ensure meaningful access to the program and activities. Some examples of reasonable accommodations may include providing documents in a variety of languages, providing translation services to those that need help in completing applications, providing verbal information for those that are unable to read the written information provided. Consider these factors when determining reasonable steps to accommodating limited English proficiency. Number or proportion of people with limited English proficiency in a service population area. The greater the number, the higher the need. The frequency with which agencies or sponsors have or could expect to have contact with an individual from different language groups seeking assistance. The more frequent the contact with a particular language group, the more likely that enhanced language services in that language are needed. The importance of the service provided. Will denial of the service cause a serious life-threatening implication? Resources available and the costs involved. Share resources to save money. Sponsors are to collect racial and ethnic data annually and maintain the data on file. The SA may require seeing this information at any time. The SA will review the racial and ethnic data during administrative reviews. Do not send racial and ethnic data to the SA unless requested. The Summer Food Service Program has a specific form to report the information and keep in your file. The form is located under Forms on the web page. An important point to note regarding racial and ethnic data collection is it is optional for participants to provide racial and ethnic information. However, it is a requirement for sponsors to collect and maintain racial and ethnic data on an annual basis. Visual identification may be used to determine a participant's racial ethnic category. School districts may also use student enrollment information. Racial and ethnic data collection is a two-step process. Separate categories will be used when collecting and reporting race and ethnicity of participants. You may collect this information either from enrollment records or actual attendance. The information is recorded from a specific point in time, for instance, one day or one month, depending on what information you have available to you. Ethnicity is determined first, then racial designation second. The only designations for collection on ethnicity are Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino. Hispanic or Latino is defined as a person of Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, South or Central American, or other Spanish culture or origin, regardless of race. 
Summary. The civil rights must-do list includes 1. Sponsors must offer any child nutrition program in a non-discriminatory manner. 2. Sponsors must train staff annually on civil rights, document the training on the SFSP training log form, and retain the documentation on file for three years plus the current year. 3. Sponsors must develop and fully implement the civil rights complaint procedure. 4. Sponsors must make available to all staff the civil rights complaint forms, civil rights complaint log, and the civil rights complaint procedures. These forms are located under Civil Rights on the web page. Additionally, sponsors must prominently display the And Justice for All poster at each site and in the sponsor's office. Ensure the non-discrimination statement be on all printed and electronic materials available to the public which mention USDA and or the Child Nutrition Program meals and snacks. Offer programs to all participants in a non-discriminatory manner and collect racial and ethnic data annually. Thank you for participating in the SFSP training on civil rights. Please contact the SA office at 405-521-3327 if you have any questions.